Hello, this is Jason with BDI, and in this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of the TDMS file format, which is what STS Live uses to save data. Um, I've got STS Live up and running here, uh, so I'll just note that the information that gets saved in the TDMS file is the raw data, along with the information that's filled in in the settings screen here. So the project name, uh, test duration, sample rate, and title, author, location, and description are all saved to the TDMS file. And we find that that's useful if you're looking at data a month later. You can have information here that describes the specifics of the test uh, as it happened, so that you can recall exactly what was going on when that test was run and have that information right there with the raw data. So what I'm going to do is run a quick test. I've got one node and a couple sensors checked in. I'm going to hit the green start button to start the test and let that run for just a few seconds as indicated on the uh, run timer here at the bottom. You can see that I've got a couple traces going. I'm going to go ahead and stop that test. I'm going to bring over a window so I can view the files on the computer. I'm going to go right to my C directory and under the C directory there'll be a folder named STS user data. So if I click on that folder I'll see another folder that's named data. And underneath that will be the actual data folder. So STS Live automatically creates a uh, folder for every month and year that a test is recorded. And within that folder, we'll have the date. So today is July 6th. So I'm going to click on the 6th. And here is the test that I just ran. So it will have the name, bridge test, the date, and the time that I actually started. So this test was started at uh, 1031 a.m. and uh, 39 seconds. Um, and the bridge test actually comes from, if I click back over to STS Live, the project name. Um, let me go back to the window real quick and we'll open up the TDMS file. Uh, with STS Live, it includes a um, importer for Excel that allows you to open these TDMS files directly into Excel. So when I click on this TDMS, It'll open up a window in Excel. Let me bring this over into the record window and uh, resize a little bit so we can see what's going on. Um, so within the TDMS file, as viewed through the Excel program, we can see that it has the name of the test with the date and time again. It has all the information that was entered in the settings tab. Um, you also get a list of all of the channels that were present uh, when we recorded the test, the data type, the units that were they were recorded in, the length is going to be the number of samples that were recorded, um, you have a minimum and maximum values that were recorded during the test, and let's go back. Uh, we've got a sample rate and the number of sample or the number of channels that were available during the, the test run. So all the actual data that was recorded for each channel is going to be on the second tab down here that says sensors and it gives you a start time of uh, 1031 um, and that's 39.5 seconds. That's the uh, actual start time of the test. So if we click on that tab we'll see that there's a time column and this is uh, going to be, um, since it was 10 samples per second, um, each sample will be one tenth of a second. And we're going to have a column for each sensor and we'll have the raw data. So by clicking on any of these, we can simply visualize this data by inserting a plot and then we will be able to see a plot of the, that data. So Excel is a great way to just look back and see the recorded data, see what's there, see that you got the data, and uh, what the data looks like if you were to plot it. Um, I'm going to close out um, of Excel here. Whenever I close, it asks if I want to save because it opened that TDMS actually as an Excel file. So it wants to know if you want to save the Excel file that has the data. Um, I usually don't actually save the Excel file because it just duplicates the data. I'll always have the uh, TDMS file where the actual raw data is on the computer. So I don't need to save that Excel file unless you've made some plots or something that you want to continue to see in there after you've closed that Excel file. Um, let me go back and show one more thing about the TDMS file. Um, it's possible to have a run counter 
So if I turn on the test run counter and click save, I'll see that on the settings tab, I now have a test run. And if you've never used it before, it's going to start at zero and start counting out from there. So every time I hit start on a test, it's going to increment that by one. So if I go over and start a test, and I'm just going to let this one run for maybe a second or two. I'll see that that was test run number one. Um, it's incremented to one. So it's now saved a file with all the information that we just saw. In addition, it'll have uh, the run counter of one. So let me run one more test real quick. We'll see that the test run counter goes to two. Um, we'll let this run for just a second as well. And we'll go back into the file and we can see that now in addition to the name, the date, and the time, it's going to have an R1 and an R2 that indicates the test run that happens. So if you're running a lot of tests that are the same exact test over and over again, and you don't need to change the information on them, but you want to uh, discern which test was which, um, you can turn on the test run counter and it easily allows you to have that right there in the file name about which run it was. So um, that test run counter will just keep in incrementing. Um, you can reset it simply by typing another number back in there. Well, it let only lets you start at one. So um, you can reset it to one by typing uh, one in there, or you can type in, you know, any number you want it to start at. So you can type in 30 and then it'll start incrementing from 30. And if you're ever wanting to change where the TDMS file is saved, you can always edit the file path here. Um, we saw that within the folder path, we were at a C STS user data and then data and then it would make the month, it's going to automatically do that, and the year, and then start adding folders into that with the individual days. So if we change the uh, file path here, we can save that into any file path or directory that we like. Um, if you have a project, you can make a project folder and save all the data directly into that project folder so it doesn't need to you know, always be in that user data. We just provide that as a default setting so that uh, all your data ends up in the same spot and uh, everybody knows where it's at. So if you uh, would like to change that, you just have to remember you know, where you've changed it to and that will be where all your data resides after you've taken a test. So that's it for the TDMS file. Uh, please check out my other videos on the other features of STS Live.